St. Stephen O.K. Feast Day, December 26. The Life and Martyrdom of St. Stephen, A Journey of Faith and Sacrifice In a time when the world was awakening to the message of a new faith, a man named Stephen emerged as a beacon of unwavering devotion and selflessness. His life, marked by faith, service, and ultimate sacrifice, is a testament to the early days of the Christian Church. Chapter 1 A Man of Faith Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Jerusalem, a man named Stephen was born. He grew up as a devout Jew, deeply immersed in the traditions of his people. Little did he know that his life would be forever changed by an encounter with a man named Jesus. Chapter 2 The Call to Service During the time of Jesus' ministry, Stephen encountered the teachings of the Messiah. His heart was touched, and he began to believe in Jesus as the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies. Stephen might have been one of the seventy disciples sent out by Christ to preach the gospel, living a life of detachment from material possessions. Chapter 3 The Early Church in the wake of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, the early Christian community in Jerusalem was born. They shared everything in common, selling their possessions to help those in need. This spirit of radical charity embodied the essence of Stephen's faith and commitment. Chapter 4 The Role of a Deacon As the Christian community grew, so did the challenges. A dispute arose between Jewish and Greek widows regarding the distribution of resources. Recognizing Stephen's reputation for holiness and wisdom, the apostles ordained him as one of the first deacons, entrusting him with a unique role in resolving this issue. Chapter 5 The Preacher As a deacon, Stephen not only served the community but also preached passionately about Jesus as the Messiah fulfilling the Old Testament law and prophecies. His words were powerful, and many were drawn to the Christian faith. Chapter 6 The Accusation Stephen's fearless preaching drew the attention of local synagogues, and they accused him of seeking to undermine their traditions. Unable to refute his message, they brought him before their religious authorities, setting the stage for a dramatic confrontation. Chapter 7 The Defense Before the religious council, Stephen delivered a powerful discourse, recounting Israel's history and its resistance to God's grace. He accused the religious authorities of opposing the Holy Spirit and rejecting the Messiah, invoking the anger of the council. Chapter 8 The Vision of Glory In a moment of divine revelation, just before his martyrdom, Stephen had a vision of Christ in glory. He proclaimed, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. His steadfast faith and unwavering commitment to Christ were on full display. Chapter 9 The First Martyr Despite his compelling defense and vision of Christ, the council refused to accept Stephen's message. In a cruel act of violence, they dragged him away and stoned him to death. Even in the face of death, Stephen's faith did not waver. His final words were a prayer for forgiveness for his persecutors. Chapter 10 The Legacy The first Christian martyrdom, overseen by a Pharisee named Saul, who would later become the renowned Saint Paul, left a profound impact on the early Christian community. Stephen's unwavering faith and sacrifice inspired others to stand firm in their beliefs, even in the face of persecution. The life and martyrdom of St. Stephen serve as a powerful reminder of the enduring strength of faith and the willingness to sacrifice for one's beliefs. His story continues to inspire generations of Christians, a testament to the early days of the Church and the enduring power of devotion. I recommend subscribing to this inspiring channel to receive daily wisdom from the saints. Their teachings and stories can be a source of strength and guidance in our lives. Let's show our support by sending blessings in the comments, sharing the video on our social networks.